Hey, I'm your host, Nick J, and we are here on board the beautiful Carnival Breeze. Today is day number three of our fun-filled cruise, and we've made it to our very first port of call, Cozumel, Mexico. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm your host Nick J, and welcome back aboard the beautiful Carnival Breeze. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're in beautiful Cosmo, Mexico, and we've got a fun-filled day ahead of us. We're gonna get off the ship, fly the drone, then get straight back on, and we're gonna go check out the waterworks, we're gonna go check out the ropes course, and a whole bunch more here on board that you'll be able to get into. You guys definitely will not wanna miss it. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and start this day. Make sure you go ahead, drop a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so you can get notified each and every single time we post a brand new video here on the channel. Let's go. All right, we're gonna show you a little bit of a view of what we've got this morning here in Cosmo, Mexico. You got beautiful blue waters. Just look at that. You can see all the way to the bottom, even from the 12th story of this massive cruise ship. But there's our port area over there. That's the Carnival Corporation port area. Oh, the water bucket. All the ships in Carnival Corporation that come here to Cosmo, that's where they dock. And of course you got uh, Royal Caribbean down over there. And uh, to say the least, we will be on the flip side very, very soon. Very, very soon. So nonetheless, you got Mariner of the Seas right there and Radiance of the Seas as well. It was cool getting to see them pull in. And funny enough, uh, last night, I didn't get to get it on camera because I, I pretty much missed it myself. Um, but we saw Allure of the Seas last night, which was really, really cool. And it was, she was really far away, but she still looked absolutely massive. It was so, so cool getting to see that. And I don't actually know if I mentioned it yesterday, but Carnival's actually doing excursions to the mainland of Mexico. So you have to take like a little bit of a ferry to get over there, but still really cool that they're doing that now. All right, so for those of you content creators out here uh, and you use Instagram, make sure when you're posting things, you're out in the lobby because you get the best reception out here, uh, according to the guest services people, and it's prevailed to be true so far. So make sure you guys go out to the atrium lobby. If you have that internet package here on board, this is the best place to use it because you get the best connection out here in the atrium lobby. Now, our uh, cabin is on deck one, so granted down there you're probably not going to have that much connection anyway so if you do have a cabin on deck one uh, make sure you come up here to upload stuff because chances are it's not going to upload in your cabin unfortunately all right family it's currently 11:44, and we are now about to head off the ship and go out to cosmo mexico we are off the ship there's the breeze right behind us massive I can't even get it in one shot right, so now we're in the Cosmo duty-free shop they've got a whole bunch of snacks and things you got jewelry over here you got perfumes you got a whole bunch of stuff you got things you shouldn't be inhaling swim gear snorkel gear that type of stuff if you forgot it and uh, a whole bunch more so make sure you check it out if you're down here in Cosmo all right y'all so we had some technical difficulties the drone is dead the b-roll camera is dead so this is the only one that still has got some battery in it so we're gonna head back to the ship and maybe just maybe if uh, i finish filming everything on board we'll come back out here and then uh then go ahead and fly the drone and back to the ship we go Finally, we got the drone footage done. Now it's time to head back to the ship and check out those water slides. Well, when you're out here at Cosmel, uh, don't forget about these picture opportunities. There's a whole bunch of them around the Carnival Corporation area, so make sure you go check them out and uh, take some pictures. Whew. So we made it back to the room, a little tired, but it's time for the water slides. Let's go. It's water slide time. Let's do it, baby. All right, now let's do the drain pipe. Hey, hey family, we are back in the cabin from those water slides and I tell you, those are by far the fastest. Listen, you got Carnival Vista that sails out of Galveston, you got Carnival Dream that sails out of Galveston, but none of them compare to the Carnival Breeze. Those water slides are crazy. The Twister is my personal favorite, but everybody also loves the drain pipe, which is also there. And of course, they've got that big uh, water bucket in the splash area for the kids down below. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time for us 
to sail away from Cozumel, Mexico and head, unfortunately, back to Galveston. But we're gonna take you guys along for the journey. We're gonna show you guys us sailing away and we've got some company in Port with us. As you know, we got Mariner of the Seas in Port with us. And we've also got Radiance of the Seas, which sails out of New Orleans. Mariner sails out of Port Canaveral. So we're gonna go see if we can see those sail away, maybe before us, maybe after us. We'll see how that ends up working out, but we're gonna head back up to Lido and check out what all the action is talking about. All right, family, we're out here on Lido and out goes the Mariner of the Seas. Doesn't look like Radiance is gonna leave yet, but I think she might be the next one to leave because nobody's really on her pier over there. And we still got lots of people coming in, so I think we're gonna be the last ones to leave. We got some big lines down there. Here we go. Glass elevator time. Let's see if we can make a full run. I don't think we're gonna do it. This ship is beautiful, y'all. Boom! Running back to the room real quick. Well, there you have it. We have sailed away from Cosmo, Mexico, and we are unfortunately heading back home, but all good things have to come to an end. Tonight, we're just gonna see what we can get up to. There's really nothing we have on the plans, so we're just gonna scroll through the What's Happening app, let you guys know what we're gonna be doing, and then go do it. For you, the show I wanna teach my team how to cheer properly. Hi. I'm gonna shout, you know what's cooking, and everybody go boom! One, two, three, you know what's cooking! All right, <laughs> whenever we get a question right, or do well, I'm gonna say, who let the blues out? And you go, who, 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 who? Chris, <laughs> you're fired. Question. This says nothing about the weather we're about to have for the next two days. Yeah. All right, so in which year did the Titanic sink? This is the best place to ask this question. All right, what do we got for an answer? 1912. 1912. It's correct! Yeah. You know what's cooking! What's gonna happen is that whenever we call your name, which is the what that I gave you, you're gonna have to run around your team back to your current position. Once upon a time, there were three bears. There was Daddy Bear, who was the head of the family. Then there was Mummy Bear, who looked after the house and did all the cooking. Daddy Bear. <laughs> and the woodsman! Did the bed sit alone? How's that in there, said the woodsman? Alright, we just finished up at the Showdown Game Show. That was a lot of fun to watch. Um, this time it was 18 and older on the Vista. It was like anybody could do it, so it was low-key a bummer because I couldn't participate in it because I totally would have. But, nonetheless, what, what can you do about it? But, uh, we're gonna head to dinner next I believe because they got deal or no deal happening I'm not sure if we're gonna play that this time around so um, but do know that that is available to play for you if you are here on board the breeze uh, but now it's time to head straight to dinner We just finished up at dinner. We're in a glass elevator right now. Uh, we stopped in the fun shops as well. I got a really cool jacket. I'll show you guys that in a second when we get to the room. But it's really, really rocky outside, so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, kind of an update on that, what's going on out here. All right, so here's what's going on outside. It doesn't look that bad, but it definitely feels like it for sure. <laughs> All right, y'all, so the 80s Rock and Glow is happening, but it's not outside, because I'm guessing the weather. It's actually happening down here in the atrium lobby. So the DJ's got the tunes playing, and then the cruise director will be down there momentarily.
there you have it. There is day number three here on board the beautiful Carnival Breeze. I hope you enjoyed it. We had so, so much fun today from taking part of the activities on the ship to going out to Cosmel to this amazing 80s rock and glow party. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Nick J. And until I see you around, I'll see you square. Thanks so much for watching this video. And I'll see you tomorrow for our final dance scene. Bye-bye. Here we go. Glass elevator. Oh, no. Open. Thank you. Guide to the vlog. I hope it's in the view. Boom. Dude. <laughs> Alright, so over there behind me, you got three amigos. That is a Mexican restaurant. Is that a Mexican restaurant? And I believe they have food. Yes, they have food over there. Oh. Before we go, we have a new friend. I don't know what his name is, but. Yeah, I still don't know what his name is. Had to run back to the room real quick to uh, 